one of the things that I am very clear about with myself is over the years I, I've tried to do this in a way David to kind of work my plan in now I know you've probably never done that but I, I, I said I work my plan in and give God the glory but how many of you know there's a difference in giving God glory and God getting glory come on how many of you know what I'm talking about there's a difference in giving God the glory and God getting the glory out of your life. When, when, a moment ago when I sang, it's not the way I would have chosen for me. It's not the place I would have gone on my own. But I remember the day I surrendered. And I remember the words he spoke to me. I've had the wonderful privilege of being married to my wife 28 years. We got married on February the 9th, 1980. The very next day, we got on a plane and went to California. I had already moved out there, and I wanted my wife to you know, come back, get married, and join me out there, because I moved out there with this thought in mind. Now, I still you know, figured I would do, you know, some, do ministry, but I moved out there with this thought in mind that I would be rich, I'd be famous, and I'll give God the glory. Now just stay with me. I know you've never thought like that, but just stay with me. And we got out there, and here's what I understood, and this is a piece that I want us to understand. In all that God is pulling us into, I want to tell you this, that if you and I have not stepped into the place to truly embrace his presence, truly embrace his glory, having made a decision to die, you have to know that there may be some things in you that the enemy can still get to. And so we're out there, and I've been involved in music all my life, all my life. And we're out there, and people spend all their lives going out there to get a break, want to do something big, want to do something famous, want to be known. And when we got out there, it was as if the enemy said, I got him now. And so I could just be, I could be anywhere, and folks would walk up to me and say things like, who are you? I used to work in a bank out there, and I had a lady come up to me uh, in the bank. She said, you know, you just don't look like you should be here working in the bank. What do you really do? I had people come up to me and say, you know, there's just something about you. Here, take my card. Give me a call. I want to get to know you better. And I found all these things were happening, and I was, I was enjoying it. And then there came a point where now, now I'm ready to want to really move out in this thing of, of being, being successful, being, being famous, being known. But I'm going to give God the glory. See, the truth is most of us aren't far removed from that. It really doesn't matter who we are. It's something that has to be managed. It's got to be managed daily. We've got to die daily. And so one day, I meet this gentleman who says he's a songwriter. I say, I'm a songwriter. Everybody says there's something other than what they're doing. And we get together and we start writing songs together. Then all of a sudden, we decide we're going to go in the studio and do a demo because, you know, if you're going to record and you're going to be famous, you've got to do a demo so somebody knows what you can really do. Then they sign this deal and you can take on off. And, and I say, well, let's go, let's go do this, this demo. And his wife says, well, well, honey, you don't have to go find a studio. Just call Philip up. And I said, Philip who? She said, Philip Bailey. I said, are you talking about like Philip Bailey with Earth, Wind, and Fire, Philip Bailey? Okay, now, how many of y'all ever heard of the group Earth, Wind, and Fire? Let me just get a poll right here. Okay. Okay, now, see, y'all didn't respond like y'all knew what I was talking about. Y'all like, mm, who is that? I know we're at a worship conference, y'all, but come on now. Okay, we ain't all been saved. all our lives and when she said that I said hey get him on the phone yeah 
Because you see, what they didn't know, but what the enemy knew, is that when I was growing up, when I was in high school, I idolized this group. I said, if I could ever have a band, that's who I'd want it to be like. Their vocals, their arrangements, just everything was stellar. And here I am going over his house. I call my family up. I'm telling everybody, you know, and, I, and I'm couching it in. The Lord is blessing. God is moving. <laughs> I'm just sharing with you a little bit of my journey. And so, 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 so God has a way of getting you off to yourself to deal with you. So don't think it's strange if you're in a place right now where you feel like you're kind of isolated. I want to give you a heads up. God is wanting you. He's wanting you. He's wanting to deal with you.